Since I have been more vocal about my switch from being a liberal Democrat to now a conservative Republican, I'm uh, just, oh my gosh, I need to sneeze. Hold on. I'm still fighting cold right now, but this is something that needs to be said. I have been, I hate that when you can't sneeze, when you need to sneeze and it doesn't come out. I have been attacked. Um, I am shocked by some of the things that have said to me as a woman, you know, I've been told by liberals that I need to be raped. I've been told by liberals that I'm stupid. I've been told by liberals that I should deserve to be spit on. Um, they said that I s suck Trump's you know what. Okay, is the sneeze going to come? Uh, I, I mean, I could go on and on. They attack my race. They attack you know, the one little picture that I have, they attack every little comment that I make. Um, they just, it's just ruthless. It's just ruthless. And on top of it, okay, <sighs> on top of it, not a single liberal, not a single liberal in all those attacks and mean things that they say to me, not a single one has ever tried to convince me to come back to being a liberal democrat in a kind in a kind way. I don't even I don't even need you to be loving. I don't even need you to I don't even need you to be kind. I just need you to be like, you know, courteous, not calling me names or you know, attacking every little thing about me and saying horrible, disgusting things to where I don't even want to like I'm not even going to comment back because of what you said is so shocking and gross. So I, you know, it's only further solidifying my reasoning for leaving the Democrat Party because I feel like it has truly become the party of hate. You know, I'm not a woman who deserves to be hated on just because I think differently from you. I think that's a beautiful. I think diversity of thought is a good thing. You know, when everyone thinks alike, then we're all just a bunch of robots and it's, we're not going to get anywhere. And uh, it's balance of power too, you know, like, I'm sorry, but if we just let the Democrats just do whatever they want, we'd be in some weird, like communist dystopia where everyone has to work together to give all their money and, and, rip babies out of women's wombs. And anyways, I'm kind of going on a different thing, but I'm just, I just can't believe the way that I've been treated now that I've come out as a conservative Republican. And I, it, like I said, it has only further solidified my reasoning for leaving the Democrat party. And so um, this is kind of like my hashtag walk away video. I have so many reasons that I walked away. And it actually has been like the last two years. They've just been adding up. I don't know what's going on, but these liberal Democrats are getting too extreme. Like, you need to rein your people in because we're just going to keep walking away. Uh, you're going to keep doing things that are like, hmm, that's, you know, let's see. A baby can be born that's trying to be aborted. And yet you're just going to let it die on the table. That doesn't sound right. You know, like it's just getting too extreme. Hmm, maybe, maybe we should become socialist and take 70% of the hard earned money that I make and give it to the government to spend it on whatever it feels like it wants to spend it on. No thanks. Or, oh, let's just get rid of free speech. Let's just, uh, tell, you know, you can't say anything anymore. Like if you say one thing, you're going to be fired. You're going to be demonized and your whole livelihood's going to be taken away because, you know, you said something that insulted, you know, the liberals. And so now, you know, you're, you're basically blacklisted. I just, that, that's, that, that didn't exist 10 years ago. It didn't. And, um, yeah, you know, I don't think either side is perfect at all. You know, I don't agree with everything that's in, that the Republican Party stands for. Oh my gosh, his sneeze is just like in the back waiting to come out, but it'll come. But I do want to say that the direction that the liberal Democrats are heading is going to ruin our country. It's going to destroy anything good that we have going on here. And it's going to turn this place into a madhouse. 
and I just don't want to be a part of it. And the direction that the Republican Party is going is a good direction. It's a sane direction. It's pretty much what we've been doing. And I think that this country is great. You know, I don't think it's perfect, but I've done a lot of traveling and there's no other place I'd rather be. And I feel like we're brainwashing young Americans into thinking this place is, needs, needs to change and needs to become something different and something more like these weird socialist countries where everything is controlled and you can't even give your child medicine that you feel is best for that child without the government approving it or disproving it. Anyways, I just feel like there's a lot of things I could say, but this is all I'm going to say for today. And that's that.